This is going to be another video on the uh, upcoming Aquarian age. So we're leaving the age of Pisces and entering the age of Aquarius. And this is completely unscripted. So if I pause for a minute or two, I'm not going to edit this this recording. Just bear, uh, please bear with me if you're interested in hearing this information. The upcoming Aquarian age can mean many different things. It's a period of 2,500 years and we're, in, we're just barely, barely into the beginning of it. And many people see the technology and the internet, uh, AI, and things that... Um, People like Elon Musk are into creating as the Aquarian age. But really, we, we really don't know what the Aquarian age is going to bring. People are, anything that you hear, it is people speculating of what they think. You have people that are super optimistic that will think that it's the Aquarian age is going to be some great, great thing, and it's going to be way better than the Piscean age. And Pi if we look at Pisces, the Pisces keyword, uh, main keyword is I believe. <coughs> and the Aquarius, <coughs> the Aquarius keyword is to know. So we would, we should be moving into an age where we have more knowledge. And yet we also know that this world is set up in such a way energetically that the idea that humans and their beliefs are going to go away and, and they're going to become very knowledgeable in the truth is... Uh, very unlikely just because we're moving into the Aquarian age of to know or the information age. And we can see that now already there's information is rampant and yet there's really nothing that has changed in the last two, three hundred years and technology has increased and in my opinion nothing has really changed. You've heard the phrase nothing new under the sun it looks different see that's the thing many people would disagree with that and argue with that it looks different the scene the world the scenery it looks different but internally nothing much has changed uh and i'm going to get into some of the ways that you will see some of the changes you will see when there's when there's internal change Versus external change. Of course, when we see the external change, we see the fancy cars and uh, even, you know, even the, the planes. We may see increases in technology around these things, cars and transportation, planes. Uh, we see, uh, might, we might see robots. We might see, you know, we see the more automation uh, more the computers and things of that nature, but nothing has really changed as far as uh, what humans are thinking and what they're doing. They still they still do the same things that they did uh, forty years ago, but now they're able to go on vacation. You could say eighty years ago, you know, vacations looked different. Now they go and get on a plane and they go to Europe. I mean that's that's not the Aquarian age, flying to another landmass on the planet. Uh, now, that can lead to an awareness of the masses of people that can, that can um, change things. But, but I've seen thus far, I haven't really seen, seen much of that. Um, so what I really want to get into is the internal change and 
some of the things that I think you you will see if the Aquarian age is moving in a more positive direction, and that is real community, real community, real community centers. And I live in the United States, so I'm speaking concerning the United States, and correct me if I'm wrong, but right now, if you had to look at what the closest thing to a community center is, and that would be the uh, that would be the church. That would be the Christian church, the Catholic church, any Christian church, or even any religious church. These are the community centers that are as close as, uh, that are the closest to what I'm thinking of. I'm not, when I say community center, I'm not referring to a community center that is paid for, uh, paid for to get in. There's like a paid membership that has a pool and a, basketball court or an indoor basketball court and a gym I'm not referring to that as a community center and I'm not referring to any rec center like pool halls bowling alleys these things all exist and they all cost money to go to and they all have the intention of going there the the reason is not for community that might be part of it um, however the the main reason it exists is because it's a business and there's an activity there. And that's not what I mean by community center. So back to this idea of the church being the community center. The churches are non, non-taxable. non They don't pay taxes, I don't believe. They don't pay, pay real estate taxes. I really don't even know the history of it, how the whole thing was set up, but they're on every, they're on every corner here. There is a church on every corner. And not only that, the people are paying for it through their sti- uh, through their tithings. So the money's there. And they believe, these people believe that their tithings are, they are, they are owed to God because of this book called the Bible, which is, uh, the Bible has no, just a side note, the Bible has no business in the Aquarian age whatsoever. None. Zero. No business in the Aquarian age at all. And that's important. That's an important fact. Uh, that's an important piece of knowledge that has to that people have to get in order for the Aquarian age to really be something different other than just changing the scenery. So this idea of this church being the community center, right now, if I, as a as an individual and I if I'm during my free time and I'm thinking well I have no let's say I have no one to hang out with etc and I'm by myself I could theoretically get in my car or walk or get on a bike and go to the community center at any given time and socialize now I can do that now I can go to the church but if you go to the churches if you've ever done this for yourself it's not exactly, it's not a true public scene. Uh, if you're a young person, most of the people there are much older. And a lot of the young people there are completely brainwashed. And you have to listen to them. You know, I don't really have an issue going to church as, as, a community, like as a community center other than some of these things I'm speaking of, many of them actually, that... You have to listen to the preacher. You know he's always going to throw something in there about sex, or whoever know who who the hell knows what else he's going to say that really fuck up the mind. And it's just like you just they're just ruining ruining the experience. And there's the singing, the worship. I don't have a problem with singing, but it's just that group, that group stuff that I'm, that that's not the reason I'm there for for community. I'm there to meet people and socialize. Because, because here's the thing, if that existed, I could do that at any given time, any moment. I wouldn't have to be, um, I wouldn't have to think, it wouldn't have in the back of my mind, well, if I piss this person off or if, if, I, if I don't get along with this person or if I don't make her happy or him happy, I'm not going to have any friends. I don't have to think like that because any given time I just go to the community center where there's hundreds of people and they're always changing. 
I also want to mention that the community center is not the gym. The same, the same thing I was saying earlier, the, the gym is not the community center. People there, they have their headphones on. They're not there to socialize. The primary reason for them to be there is to work out. And I'm, that's what I'm talking about with the community center. The primary reason for the community center to exist and the primary reason people are there is to meet people and socialize. That's why it exists. And as of, as of now, it doesn't exist. And as we get into the Aquarian age, this is when you will know we are moving into a true Aquarian age. Now, I'm not not naive, so naive to think that humans can actually handle some kind of free, freedom-loving center that this could be. Because they're more likely than not, they're not. There'd be alcohol there, there'd be drugs, there'd be people doing things that they... Um, that they probably shouldn't be, and that's not what I mean by a community center. This is for mature. This is for mature people that realize that that um, this is a this is a beautiful thing, and they're not going to ruin it with their whims and fancies and emotions and um, anything else that that humans do. So. Unfortunately, that could be the reason. That's more likely than not one of, another reason why this will never exist. However, I don't see why you know without I don't see a, I don't have a problem with having um, you know instead of the pastor, you have uh, I wouldn't call them security guards, but just some level of uh, responsibility amongst leaders that are there taking care of the place. And um, you know we could pay for this. We as much as as much money as we throw into trash, the trash that we dump our money into. I'm not going to mention anything as in this video, but there's many, 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 many examples that people think that they value and treasure that they throw their trash, they throw their money into that's absolute trash. They they took that little bit of money and they put it in the community center. Even if they're not using the community center, the thing is it would always be there. It's always always there when you're having, you know, these people that have big families and that have a lot of friends and don't have these problems. It's always there when they, they do have that downtime or if they are going through a period in their life when there's some separation. They got the community center. And, you know, they don't need to rely on their therapists that they're paying or the insurance companies are dumping money into, uh just so these people have someone to talk to. This is the real Aquarian Aquarian age. And stay tuned, I'm going to speak on... I can't really talk very long. I don't really want to make super long videos. But I'm going to do more videos. If you haven't seen my other video, I did another video on the Aquarian age and how it relates to this on the internet as um, how it relates to its polarity Leo and how people are... Um, going to really come out online and speak their truth, speak, um, you know, create, speak their creativity, etc. So check out that video. I have it linked in the description. And if you have any comments, please comment below. Agreements, disagreements, ideas. I'd love to hear them. And if you like the videos, please like the, like the videos. I appreciate the likes and the shares, the people that are sharing my videos. That's awesome. And I hope you have a great day, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.